new school hippie here. It's like uh, eight o'clock in the morning right now. Been out since around six ish. Me and the wife's on a little trip. I told her yesterday, call who you need to call. We're getting in the car and we're heading to Port Angeles. Right on the water here. It's a neat little town, man, I'll tell you. They have a lot of cool little antique shops. This is like town right here. This is like the old town. It goes from probably, uh, let's see. Right up. I don't know how to tell you that. It's down there a little bit. But uh, this gentleman you see here just waving at me. He, I saw him cleaning the windows of this place. And it's an old uh, federal building. And uh, I stopped to talk to the guy. Supervising architect, 1931. Mm -hmm. This is old. It's a beautiful building. I mean, <laughs> it caught my attention. And look at who's on the top. Just blown in the wind, chilling. But I had to stop and see this building. I mean. This town, like many, many, many years ago, ship come in on boats. Uh, on the other side of these buildings, I'll, I'll walk back over there. We got time. The warden's sleeping, so I already got her coffee sitting there waiting for her. So when she wakes up, she'll get her shit together. And we'll move on to Forks, where everything for Twilight was filmed like in La Push and all that we're gonna head over there and I'll do some filming but uh, that's the water we're actually staying at a the red line it's right on the water but uh yeah so I always get up and every time we go to if you followed my videos when we're out of town hippie gets up early to do my shit go out and explore get the smell and the pulse of the town I always do that and then I decide what my game plan is for the first few hours before my wife wakes up. But I just happened to see this building and I had to stop. It's a federal building. I th and it says museum. So I thought it was a museum at first, but the guy says no. You know, it's legit. It's an active building with active things. I think they got the customs in here. And if you ever want to find out. This side. Yeah. President Lincoln reserved this site for government use on June 10th, 1862. Wow. Mr. Lincoln. Wow. Okay. Let's go inside. Hippies, let's see what's going on in here. It's beautiful. I just can't wait to see inside. Let's check the signs here. It's all COVID shit. We're good. Online, look for whatever. It smells beautiful in here. It's got this old building smell see this is what i was talking about if you look at this painting this is like port angeles and you, as you can see it's surrounded by water so everything would come into port and uh a lot of goods came here that's why i love these little antique shops and stuff around here so Let's see, in the basement, we got public building service. First floor, we got Social Security and U.S. Customs on the second floor. They used to have U.S. Immigration, National Marine Fishery, Agent Office for Enforcement, U.S. Customs Service. So, wow, look at this shit. Up here in Washington, we got a lot of trees, like a lot of trees and mountains and 
That's why you see a lot of logging situations and stuff. My goodness, this is cool shit. Yeah. I hate to do this to you, but photography is prohibited in here. Why is that? I will. Uh, it well, it's a government building, so it's public. So we paid for this building, okay. so it's completely legal. <laughs> it's a government building. It, it's it's the people's building. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The government's ruled on it. Yeah, these are just. There's no. Uh, yeah, that's. Those are so old. You can tell how old those are. There was probably, I don't even know if that's even Scotch tape. <laughs> But, yeah, no, I do this for, like I said, you got, you, I'll give you my channel, you can look it up, I go into police stations, and the only thing I can't go into is, like, courthouses and stuff like that, because that's, that's yeah. a no-no, but yeah. like, any federal building that's paid for by the people, as long as I don't go any un, in restricted areas, like here, it says restricted, I cannot go in there, but these are, pu anything that's public lobby, public uh, hallways, foyers, that's all completely legal. 100%. I wouldn't lie to you. And I'm not in people's faces or anything. I'm just admiring just the beauty of this building. It's a very strange thing that it says there. And I hate to tell you this, but I just saw it yesterday. Yeah, no, that... They, no, this is, this is just... Yeah, it's just... No, the government has ruled on it. I mean, I know what I'm saying makes sense, and I know you have a job to do, but or if there's someone you need me to talk to, I can definitely talk to them. But um, I'm just getting just the history and, oh, yeah. and all the stuff that's here and, and telling a story because a lot of my people on my channel don't, they don't live here. They live in uh, Maine or something, so they don't have mountains. They don't have the beautiful shit that we have. So that's why I do these videos every time me and my wife travel because they don't get to see these things, especially beautiful days like this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, you know, and then they do the same things. They go into their buildings and we get to see, you should see some of the beautiful buildings around the United States, some of the government buildings are just so, just marble, just, it's just beautiful stuff, so. So, so when was this building built, did you? 19, what was it? Well, Abe Lincoln, a stab, uh, it just said outside, he, what is it, commandeered this property in 18 something, I, I don't remember, my memory is not as good as it used to be. Oh, really, is this it? Okay, 1931. Yep, that's what it says right out there. The exact same thing. Oh, yeah. It's the plaques out there. And but then they have one right here. Where there it is right there, I think. Abraham Lincoln. It said that he this property he designated for the government. And it says it on that plaque on the corner. It was pretty neat to see that mm -hmm. Abe Lincoln, I mean yeah. Abe Lincoln out of all of our presidents. That's pretty cool. <laughs> so look at the car back then. I know, I love history. Dude, that's, this is what, there it is, right there. President Lincoln commented the building, reserved this building site for government use. That's beautiful. That is so cool. That's the original. Um, <laughs> the, this building? Yeah. No. It, uh, yeah. Oh, wow. You could see it's kind of similar, but small. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A couple stories, but... But that's pretty cool. That's the original government building. Mm -hmm. That's pretty awesome. See, this is why I do this, you know? I just, this stuff interests me. Like I said, I'm retired now, so mm -hmm. these are the things I love to do. <laughs> what did you used to do before you got retired? Uh, I traveled around the country opening Little Caesars. There's a main office here in this state. And, yeah, and we opened up 18 here, and we had like a few out of state. And I'd just fly out of state and open them and made a lot of money. So it was like the owners, then me, and, and then all the managers. And it was fun, but it just took a, too much out of me. Mm -hmm. oh, there's a Jurassic Park little Jeep out there. What's your favorite pizza? I don't eat sugar or flour anymore. See, I can't have too much sugar. Diabetic, so. Uh, but I, I still disappoint myself by doing it. <laughs> I mean, you, 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 you know, I, I, I just, keto. what? I'm keto. Oh, so you, okay. No sugar. I no get it. Flour. I've done it for a couple of years. And how you feel? You feel good? Yeah, great. That's awesome. Really 
that's all that matters is how you feel. Yeah. How you're going to feel when you're done, you know? How you feel. Because you don't probably notice it right off the top. You probably hate it. And then after you get into that rhythm, then it probably starts to jive with your system. And you're like, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's working. <laughs> it's not, it no I miss it. Oh, you don't get the snack? No. I try not to. I, I, I do a little bit of snacking. But so peanuts or something? Yeah. Well, maybe not peanuts. You can't have protein like that? Because I don't know nothing about that diet. Yeah. <laughs> I know the you name. Know know because he, he is, uh, a lot of stuff is no good. People eat garbage. They actually eat poison. Like on a daily basis, people? On a daily basis. So you're saying that I, I'm, I'm sure with all the stuff, see, because I told my wife, I was like, back in the day, they just, whatever, fix whatever crop or whatever. Now I think they just dust everything. And you don't know what, you know, the leaf plants don't need it. So what, you know, and that's just, that's how I feel about it. Oh yeah, that's how I feel about it too. And, and all the things that it says on the packages, uh, uh, you know, uh, farms that are organically, you know, like, it's all lies. What? What are the standards? What are the standards for? Uh, there is none for uh, organic. What's the what? What is the standard curve that makes it organic? I mean, what makes it organic? <laughs> what what's the scale that puts it in that yeah, category? Right, right, right. That's what I'm wondering. Like, yeah. look at these old skates. My goodness. Hmm. Well, all right. Yeah, so like I said, if, if, if there's any alarm, let me know if there's someone I need to talk to. And, and I, I talk to everyone, just so I like to trip, make people feel better about what's going on. Because we've went through so much shit in the last few years. People trip out a little bit these days with anything. So, <clears throat> other than that, I try to do the best I can. But yeah, these, uh, this isn't even your responsibility, these signs, but... Yeah, it's just, uh, these are so old. Very old. Let's see, like, if this was a courthouse, would never happen, because that's a, those are, unless there's a judge's ruling saying that you could, which, that's never common. You can't allow to do that. Now, like, if you went into one and there was no courts in session, they might allow you to do what I do, if you're nice like me, but there's people that do this and they're, They'd have ripped your head. Oh, they would have been like the rudest person to you in your life. Yeah. And there's just, you're a government employee, so you have to like swallow it because you don't want to lose your job because you, you work for the people. So you're like, you try to be nice like you. The night, I commented when I first came out, I was like, this man was, told him what you were doing and we had a conversation. And But yeah. I wonder if this is the original floor. I bet you it is. No. I don't know. Maybe the marble part is, but yeah. I guess it could. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. All right, my friend. Good talking with you. You too. I appreciate all your knowledge and what you know. That's locked. That was good. bathrooms but look at these doors all the doors are just it's like they use the original doors to put all the locks back in now you work here or? no i'm just waiting for that oh that's social security oh i think it's so they're only open the social security office is open for three hours what and then you think what are they doing the rest of the time <laughs> And I'm sure they're getting paid for 40. I don't know if you'd be interested in this. I Googled what was before Social Security. Yeah? One of the things was talking about ancient Greek, what they used for security, and olive oil. Hmm. Weird. Yeah, it says... Uh, what is this?
amazing town. I've been here many, many times, but... No, it really is, except I feel bad for the kids. Why? There's just nothing to do? Not really. Yeah, every... There used to be. We used to have... Well, there was a theater, I know that. I See, I was here 30... 30 years ago. Oh, we uh, And I came into town, we had an entertainment company, and we toured uh, male strippers at Downriggers. Oh, right. I don't know if you remember that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We brought those guys in, and we just, and I just fell in love with this town. Yeah. Back then, it was much different than it is now. It was booming. There was not a shop or anything for lease. Everything was open. Yeah. There was nothing yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. for lease. I, I, I've been here for 33 years. Yeah. yeah. And, but you were here when, uh, yeah, Cactus Jack was here. It was a shop with video games and all that, and in the back they had a bunch of, I think, 50 arcade games mm. for kids who would go back there and play. And play games. See, that was back when life was simple. That didn't have a You didn't care about shit. <laughs> People had respect back then. Too. Oh, see, I remember back. I didn't worry about getting an ass open. I worried about the disappointment to my mother, right. that I disappointed her. Yeah. It didn't matter that uh, whatever the punishment was, is that she was just disappointed in me. She didn't. Even, she could just look at me and walk away, yeah. and I would just be crushed because yeah. I loved her so much. And that was my problem. I didn't care about the punishment. She whooped my ass, put me on restriction, <laughs> take right. whatever away. I, yeah. But this. But back then, you didn't want to disappoint no. your father or your mother. Or, now they don't give shit, whatever. Well, I tell you what, I, I work at McDonald's. Uh -huh. So I work in the lobby, so I'm around with kids. And oh, yeah. I tell some parents, I'm like, no, if I talk to my mom, oh, yeah. parents the way they do now, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't have got three other words out of my mouth before I would have got smacked. Right? Like, it, it, she wouldn't have allowed the shit to come out. Yeah, nowadays, if they do something like that, then, oh, here, Johnny, here's an ice cream. No, it's what they do is give the kids everything to keep them occupied. So, because everybody's got a Starbucks in this hand and a phone in this hand and they're driving. See, I live up by Seattle. I've watched them. I've watched women drive down the street and put on their makeup, yeah. drinking coffee. Changing I'm talking every changing clothes, yeah. driving down the freeway. And I'm, I've seen it all, so right. I'm not surprised. So... It just me. But you know what are you gonna do? That we all it evolves and things evolve and yeah. things change and that's why, like I told him, you know, it gets weird when people see me doing this. But yeah. once we discuss it, like I was in SeaTac yesterday. Yeah, I filmed it yesterday. Went up in the uh, main building, City Hall, and they started losing their mind. Until I started explaining, like, look, yeah. man, I'm just gathering some information. I didn't point the camera at no one. I didn't talk to anyone. Mm -hmm. Just was filming That's all the information. And right. the guy's like, oh, you're suspicious. And all. I'm like, how am I suspicious? He goes, well, you can get all this online. I'm like, well, I'm here now. Yeah. I said, isn't this a public lobby? Why is this stuff here? I mean, can I, can't someone come in and get this? You know, and I didn't yell or didn't cuss at anyone. I'm surprised I haven't seen something. Well, because not many people have been here. Maybe it makes tourists want to come here. It re it generates revenue. Yeah. It's you got to stop and take a breath sometimes. But m most of the time, when I talk to someone, because I'm not, I mirror whatever happens. So if someone starts being a jerk to me, then then I start to get a little bubble going in my soup. Right. And then, but you know, if they're nice, then yeah. we're having we're having pie and desserts, man. But. Exactly. Like quickly, I can tell, okay, they don't want to talk. Exactly. Well, you need to know. Because they're out doing their shit. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, that's a cool building. So, there's no elevator, I would imagine. Um, oh, no, it's right there. But it's restricted. That's kind of, what if someone's handicapped? Needs to go upstairs. 
I don't know. I guess, I guess they got to get someone to... It says do not enter authorized personnel. So maybe... If you got someone to do it. Yeah. Well, very cool. Look at this mortar. They just had that out on the shore. <laughs> Thunk. <laughs> you figure this? Like I said, this is a major port. So all the shit that came in here in the 1800s or what have you on boats, like furniture, antiques, just this was a major port. You know what I mean? So a lot of cool shit comes in. That's why I like the little shops. And I was very pleased to see them still open, little antique shops and stuff. Because me and my wife have bought a couple things through the years through here, but some of the stuff you see here, you just won't see anywhere because it, it's nowhere. It came on a boat, <laughs> and it's in this town still. It never left. You know what I mean? So that's why I love the old towns like this. I know my mom was a Hmm. Not like, please, nothing ever happened. Yeah, no, because Washington, we're screwed with Bangor, McCord Air Force Base, Fort Lewis, Bremerton Shipyard. I mean, there's another one too, but it's like we have everything here because we're on the corner. We're like a main attraction for if something happens, we're we're first to attack. So we have everything here. <laughs> we got the sub base everything uh, so yeah. we drove by Bremerton shipyard on the way here saw all the aircraft carriers and shit yeah. so no we're uh, I hope nothing ever happens because we're going to be in trouble if something you know, this state is going to be more fucked up than most the main thing I like about Port Angeles is we're so protected from bad let me just go heavy out 